Happy Tuesday, friends. I brought an inner tube with me today because summer is finally here. Are you excited? I'm excited that it's finally summer. And this inner tube reminds me of when I get to go to the beach. And one of my favorite things to do when I was a kid and I was at the beach was to take an inner tube or a boogie board and to ride the waves. Have you ever ridden a wave? on a boogie board or in the inner tube. It is so much fun. You catch the wave and, it, and when you get a really good one, it takes you all the way back to the shore. I would do that over and over and over again when I was little. It was so much fun. But you know what would not be very much fun? And actually it would be really, really scary if you were in a boat in the middle of the ocean in a very terrible storm. And in Matthew chapter 14, that's where the disciples are. They are in a boat in the middle of the sea and a terrible storm has come up. The storm is, is so bad that the wind is blowing and the waves are huge and they're afraid that their boat is gonna just sink, is gonna just come apart. And they're probably afraid for their lives at this point. And to make it worse, Jesus isn't with them. Jesus had sent them ahead while he went in by himself to pray. And the Bible says that Jesus came to them walking on the water. Well, this made them even more afraid. If you were in a boat in the middle of the storm at night and you saw somebody walking on the water towards you, you'd probably be afraid too. I think I would be afraid. The disciples didn't know what to think, but it was Jesus. And he called out to them and said, don't be afraid, it's me. And one disciple spoke up. Do you remember who it was? It was Peter. And Peter said, if it's you, Lord, tell me to come out of the boat and walk on water with you. And Jesus said, come on. And Peter suddenly was so brave. And he stepped out of the boat and was walking on the water with Jesus. Can you imagine being able to walk on water? And things were going well at first, right? Peter was walking on the water. He was with Jesus. He was probably focused on Jesus's face and he was not really paying attention to what was around him. But then he started to lose focus. He started, instead of looking at Jesus, he looked at the huge waves that were around him. I mean, the storm was still going on. He started looking, feeling the, the wind just blow so hard against him while he was out on the water. And when he stopped focusing and paying attention on G, to Jesus and paid attention to all the scary things that were around him, the Bible says that he started to sink and he cried out for Jesus to save him. And of course, it says right away in, in verse 31, it says right away, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. Your faith is so small, he said, why did you doubt me? Jesus asks Peter, why did you lose focus on me and start looking at all the scary things around you? Why did you doubt? Well, they both climbed into the boat and the wind died down and the waves stopped and everything was calm again. And the Bible says that they worshiped Jesus. So what can we learn from Peter and the disciples in the storm? Did Peter and the disciples have a right to be afraid? I think so. They were in a really scary place in a really scary situation. You know what? It's okay to be afraid. Sometimes we face things that are hard and scary, and it's okay when we're afraid. But where should we focus when we're afraid? Well, instead of focusing on the things that are making us scared and that have us worried, instead, we should focus on Jesus. Just like Peter when he focused on Jesus, he was walking on water. He was doing an amazing thing. But when he started focusing on everything else that was really scary, he started to sink. 
it is filled with doubt. So when we find ourselves filled with fear and doubt, we need to make sure our focus is in the right place. Our focus is on Jesus. The same, the Jesus that could calm the storm and do all the amazing things and is always with us, that's where our focus should be. So here is my challenge for you today. I want you to write something that scares you. Whatever that is, write something that you are afraid of or you're afraid to do or it scares you when you have to do it or um, maybe it's uh, being afraid of the dark or being afraid of um, going to a certain place. Whatever it is, write down something that makes you afraid. And then I want you to take a marker and over the top of the thing that you write down that scares you, I want you to write Jesus. Because Jesus is bigger than any fear we can have. And as long as our focus is on Jesus, we don't have to be afraid. He will give us peace instead of fear. So that's my challenge for you today. See if you can write down that fear and then write Jesus right over the top of it. Um, so I have a joke for you. It is about the ocean. Since we talked about the disciples being in a boat on the ocean in a storm. So it goes, how can we tell that the ocean is friendly? Because it waves. The ocean always waves, doesn't it? It's very friendly. All right. Thanks, friends, for listening. And I hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday. And I will see you soon.